Hey everybody, I'm Ray. And I'm Paul. And we are the Alconauts. And today we have but yet another guest. Everybody, welcome Dylan to our show. Uh, tell our, our, our audience about yourself. So, uh, yeah, no, I come from uh, central Ontario, the land of Kawartha Lakes. Many fun little breweries up there, but here to try out a fun one from Toronto today. Let's dive on in. Ray, <laughs> tell us about the tale of the tape. Alrighty, so this week we are back to Blood Brothers Brewing in Toronto, Ontario again. This time we've got the Inner Eye. This is a pale ale at 5.5% ABV. Look at the can art. As always, that guy's probably thirsty. I am so thirsty. There's a huge citrusy note to this if, you, if you're smelling this. Oh yeah, I can totally smell that. Wow. It's a little bit hazy too, I can see from here. Oh, yes. excessively hazy. It's almost opaque. Yes. Want to see what these have to offer? Yeah, I'm really excited about this one. This is right up my alley. Okay, well, cheers, gentlemen. Cheers. 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 And cheers to you guys. Ooh, that All is right. nice. Uh, Dylan, you want to start us off? For sure, yeah, no. Is that a yes? Right away, you definitely notice the notes of citrus right as soon as you drink into this guy. Definitely a smooth, smooth beer. I feel like it'd be pretty crushable, really. It's a, a decent pale ale all across the board. You know what? Surprisingly lighter than I expected. I thought that would be really, really, really thick. Real thick. Now, I think this one was Citra, Mosaic, and Simcoe hops. But yeah, surprisingly light. I am definitely enjoying this. It goes down pretty smooth. Very little mouthfeel to it. But honestly, it tastes like the creamsicle of beers. You've got that citrusy taste to it. It's very creamy going down. It's lovely. I want to use that word. Can I yeah. use that word? Yeah. Like, um, you guys uh, consent to that word? I think it's fine. Okay. I don't consent. No, we're friends. It's just kind of weird. Um, yeah, no. It Is that a yes? It tastes like a great uh, breakfast beer, to be honest. Replace your glass of orange juice with this guy, and you're off to a good day. Oh, you see that with steak oh, and okay. eggs? Yeah, absolutely with yeah. steak and eggs, for sure. Yeah, I like it. You know, it'd be like a mimosa. Oh, yes, but from mm -hmm. beer. Yes, but from it's beer. It's a beer mosa. Yeah. A beer mosa. I am really impressed so far. Thank you for bringing this beer on here. Absolutely. We really appreciate you, like, being a, a fan and bringing us free beer. That's two <laughs> things that we love, fans and free beer. This show is pay to play. That's how we had to get on here. Bring the pizza <laughs> when you get to that's, film. That's the only reason why he's here. You can contact Lenny at thealconauts at gmail.com if you're interested in being on the show. I'm not sure what he's going to tell you about, uh, you know, pricing and, you know, pay to play fees, but he does like to be brought. I think it is that time of the show where we need to do the chug. And you know what? I think Dylan should count us down. We're going to go three, two, one, go. On go, we're going to slam these. On go. These on go. are the rules. Not on one. Not no, on zero. On go. On go. On go. And we're going to throw up a block if Paul tries to cheat, right? Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Three, two, one. So getting back to our review of beers, let's get our final thoughts. Ray, start us off. Like I said up the top, really nice and light. I was really surprised. Three of my favorite hops are in this beer. The IBUs is really low, surprisingly, being a dry hopped pale ale. I really like this. This is a, it's a 12 pack for me. Honestly, I've been impressed with pretty well everything I've had from Blood Brothers. They have a wide spectrum of beers, and each one that I've tried has done a great service to what it should be. This guy's easily a 12-pack for me, maybe a 2-4. I'm a big fan of pale ales, and this one really hits for me. If I can just coin a phrase I use on a regular, crushable. 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 Let that sink in. Uh, I think a lot of people would be able to drink this. The IBU levels are very low. The flavors blend in very well. I gotta say, I'm picking up a case of this. That is a high rating for Paul. And what I can say is, you know, Blood Brothers, you guys, you guys do an amazing job. Dylan, thank you so much for being on our show. Thank you guys like, for having me. The, yeah. the love, bringing the beers and everything. Yeah. I, I know it's all you in regards to bringing these beers on here. Yeah. So I really do appreciate that. With that being said, I am Paul. I'm Ray. And I'm Dylan. And we are the Alconauts. Cheers, all. You're officially an Alconaut. Wow. Big news, guys. See ya. Yeah.